All right, I'll admit it. This esports stuff is pretty challenging, but uh, you know what else is challenging? Getting the technologies you need to properly equip your esports program on campus. Hi, I'm Mark Pescatori, Content Director for Systems Contractor News. Join me for Anatomy of an Esports Program during the Esports and Education Virtual Conference on November 9th. Esports is important to me because unlike traditional sports, it doesn't matter how tall you are, how fast you are, what your gender is, if you are good at that game, you can make it to the highest level of competition. Hey everybody, my name is Joey Garizzi. I'm the Executive Director of Esports at Syracuse University. Coming to you from one of our esports facilities on campus, which is one of the reasons why esports has been so important for me, but also the way that we now engage our students in higher education. It's great having facilities like this that we're able to provide an educational opportunity where there wasn't one a few years ago in the same kind of way. So I'm so excited that I'm gonna be able to talk more about my experiences in esports, as well as being joined by some of the best coaches and directors around the country at the Esports Education and Virtual Conference. We have 69% of our students participating saying that they believe in themselves more, 73% that they um, have improved their friendships, they've out-attended their non-participating peers by over seven school days per year, and they're also outgrowing them on state standardized tests. Beyond that, it is so much fun and kids are really enjoying it. Uh, the inter-school rivalries, the, the county rivalries, the state, and across the world. So esports, we've found the keys to the kingdom. Thanks so much for the opportunity.